So you must be the courier to report to me. Pass this message on to your commander. Hoover Dam will not fall while I still draw breath. Fool. We fortified this place to hold out indefinitely against an army. What chance do you think you have? It's not the time. Let's get to fighting. Now's not the time to talk. allowing our conquest to continue westward, unopposed for a time. The Legion will swell with the number of slaves we will claim from this place, and the tribute we gather will fund further campaigns. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. But for now we rest. Know that your efforts are appreciated and will not go unrewarded, but we can speak of that later. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The Legate is crowned as the new Caesar. He entered the Strip as though it was a military target, destroying anyone who resisted him. The Legion brutally occupied all major locations, killing and enslaving a large amount of the population. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, savage as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. The Legion marched over the Hoover Dam with the help of one who was as brutal and merciless as the worst of them, the Courier. Caesar honored him with a golden coin, 
minted in celebration of his contributions and distributed throughout the wasteland. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utobitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name as he had done so many times before. The Boomers defended themselves against many attacks from the Legion, but they eventually fell to the Legion's superior numbers. The Legion enslaved the Boomers and erased any memory from their existence from the Wasteland. During the fight for Hoover Dam, the Brotherhood took Helios I, inflicting heavy damage on retreating NCR forces. But it was a Pyrrhic victory. Once the Strip was secured, Caesar's forces overwhelmed and eventually routed the Brotherhood from Helios I and Hidden Valley. Though she'd seen the writing on the wall, the destruction of the Mojave Brotherhood came far more suddenly than Veronica had expected. The news devastated her. Despite her best efforts to leave her past behind, she found herself compelled to make one final journey to Hidden Valley. There, she paid her last respects to the only family she had ever known. The Fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. After the Legion's victory, the new Caesar learned the followers had defamed the original Caesar's noble origins. The followers of the Apocalypse were hunted down and exterminated. An old Mormon fort was turned into a pile of rubble. Though the Legion was victorious at Hoover Dam, the Legate did not have the same medical needs as Caesar. Lenius quickly tired of Arcade's acerbic wit and had the doctor crucified. Travelers continued to stop by Good Springs Source for water on the Long 15, but rarely would anyone venture into the ruins of Good Springs itself. Those who did were almost always tourists, come to visit the graveyard where the courier rose from the dead. The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply lines suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Rose of Sharon Cassidy died as her caravan died in an unmarked grave, another victim of the Mojave. As reward for their loyal service, Caesar forcibly integrated the Great Khans into the Legion. The sick and elderly were killed, the women sold as wives to ranking officers, and the tribe's identity was annihilated. Though many Great Khans mourned the death of their tribe, many more were ultimately satisfied with their revenge against NCR. Though a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was eventually found, it became a case of too little, too late for Jacobstown. Most Nightkin at Jacobstown followed their leader, King, out into the wasteland, terrorizing the Mojave for years to come. Jacobstown, constantly on guard for anti-mutant reprisals, never truly prospered. Encouraged by the courier to stop taking her medication altogether, Lily's instabilities grew worse with each passing day. Eventually, she became little more than a ravening beast. The kindly old grandmother subsumed beneath the rage. Impressed with the king's continued attacks upon NCR citizens and soldiers, the Legion offered them the option of being assimilated into the Legion. The kings refused and briefly became slaves in the Legion, but after a failed escape attempt, they were all put to death. With the transplant of Lupa's brain, Rex gained all of the donor's experiences traveling with the Legion. These melded well with his own memories of the Legion, and his new mind quickly adjusted to the myriad memories. The misfits' laziness caught up with them when the Legion attacked Camp Golf. Those who weren't killed in the attack attempted to flee, but were caught at Mojave Outpost, court-martialed, and hanged from the Ranger Monument. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. 
With no other communities coming to its defense, Novak would eventually fall to the Legion's persistent attacks. Driven mad by Caesar's victory at Hoover Dam and unable to escape his memories, Boone staged a suicide mission against the Legate. Fighting as he wished he would have fought on the day of his wife's death, he brought down scores of legionaries before being caught. Before his crucifixion, he was brought before the Legate, who expressed his admiration for Boone's reckless abandon. Boone spat tobacco in his eye for all of Caesar's armies to see. Most powder gangers at the correctional facility fled into the wasteland rather than face the advancing forces of the Legion. Those brave or foolish to remain were killed or crucified by the merciless legionaries. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Hot-headed to the end, Sheriff Myers chooses to oppose Caesar's takeover of Prim with a standoff. Though the citizens take out a few legionaries, the town quickly falls to Caesar, its citizens utterly wiped out. Due to the courier's intervention, Chief Hanlon abandoned his plan to sabotage the defense of Hoover Dam. The Rangers heroically assisted NCR's troopers in their ill-fated defense against the overwhelming power of Caesar's legion. Though many NCR military officers fled the territory soon after the dam was lost, Chief Hanlon remained at Camp Golf to surrender to the Legion. Despite the late Caesar's respect for Chief Hanlon as an adversary, Legate Lanius had Hanlon crucified along with all the other Rangers. Merciless in their assault on the NCR, the remnants struck fear into the hearts of even the Centurions at Hoover Dam. Kaisar's heirs aggressively pursued the remnants into Arizona, losing hundreds of legionaries in the process and gaining nothing in return. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. about who lead the Legion now that Kaisar is dead. True to Kaiser. to Kaiser. 